Oh, I can most definitely feel the magic. I can hear the roar. And I can most definitely see a pre-order that's a little too soon. Welcome to T's Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus. And woo, it is here, folks. Whether we want it or not, we have not only the official reveal of the Cat's Lair, but we also have the pre-order as well, folks. I mean, Brian Flynn and his crew, they couldn't even wait a week or two. They said, you know what? We're going to drop a pre-order one day after the HasLab from Hasbro ended. We're going to drop our pre-order. I mean, they, they ain't got no conscience, y'all. They got no conscience, no patience at all. But we have the official reveal of Cat's Lair. This thing has been talked about. Everyone is buzzing about it. You know, everyone at Comic Con is is going to be rushing to check this thing out. But we have the official promo images for the Cat Slayer, and yes, it is up for pre order right now, folks. We'll go through all that information, but I want to share with you all an image that I have from Collider. Collider has an exclusive first look at Cat Slayer, and as you can see here on the screen, this thing looks phenomenal. And yes, folks, it is massive i'm impressed with this cast there we're gonna go all through all this thing but let's go through the logistics first and foremost so this thing is up for pre-order uh i think this is way too soon uh we're just coming off the gi joe has lab dragonfly campaign uh that ended a day ago and then he dropped this a day later it's, it's just way too soon you know i went in on the has lab uh huge shout out to everybody that did go in on it but man, I tell you, they just did not wait at all. And I was hoping they would wait maybe a few weeks before they dropped this pre-order, giving us a little more time to just enjoy seeing the cast there, you know, all the videos and the photos that's going to come in from Comic-Con and just take it all in and then prepare financially for this thing because this is going to cost a pretty penny, folks. It's going to cost some money. You know, we all have other responsibilities and things that we have to tend to that go before collecting. And then, you know, along with the collecting, there's so much out there. There's so many other things that's going on. I mean, for the people that are at Comic-Con, I mean, I don't know how they're going to do it unless they're just rolling in it. I mean, you got Comic-Con, you have all the things that you may want to dive into there. You might have gotten the HasLab, Dragonfly. There's other things that's happening. So it's just like the timing, I feel like it's way too soon for this campaign to start. But yeah, this is a Super 7 campaign for the Cat Slayer. Uh, the price is $650 with $100 shipping in the U.S., folks. So we got $100 shipping. For those who are uh, from the international market, there are various outlets that they provided on the Super 7 website for you to, to utilize if you um, are getting this in from the international side of things. So that's available uh, as well. Now, this uh, campaign ends on September 17th, 2023. So we have a little bit of time. I feel like at least we got that, but still, man, I, I need a little bit more time to get this money up because this thing is expensive, folks. Now, Super 7 has provided uh, other outlets in terms of payment plans. So if you're able to get into those payment plans. That is available uh, as well through that Super 7 website. Now, in order for this campaign, to move forward in production, it will need a minimum of 3,000 backers. Now, there is an early bird funding bonus. If the goal is hit by July 30th, all early bird backers will receive the key to Thundera. Early bird ends in 10 days, 14 hours, and 53 minutes. So the key of Thundera is a nice addition to this cat's lair, along with some of the other tiers that they got. So some of the other tiers they got is pretty cool too, y'all. So we'll go through that right now. So, of course, we have the early bird special, which is the key, which is the key of Thundera, which is pretty awesome. So we have tier one, which is 4,000 backers, which will be the Sword of Omens, one claw shield, and one lab set. And this is pretty awesome. I like how this lab set looks. You get a lot of different, you know, accessories and things that you can place uh, within Cat Slayer, along with all the other stuff that Cat Slayer has, folks. So this plays into your whole Cat Slayer setup. And again, I mean... I don't know if we need another claw shield and a sword of omens, but you know what? Okay, all right. Y'all want to give us a little sword of omens and claw shield. That's all right. But I do like the lap set. I love how 
all the little different accessories and items that we get with the lab I said as well. So, I mean, and this thing can be utilized for other things. You can utilize this for your G.I. Joe Classified, your He-Man set or whatever. So this plays into whatever you want to use it for. But we got the Tier 1 Unlock, which is the lab set and the Sword of Omens. What I like, folks, is Tier Number 2. And that's at 5,000 backers. And you unlock the Astro Projection of Lionel, which is pretty awesome, folks. So I like that. It's a translucent Lionel figure. And I just love the colors and how this came out, folks. So I would love to get this right here. So this is at 5,000 backers. So I'm not sure if we'll get to 5,000 backers, but hey, you just never know because saw how the has lab for the Dragonfly, how all that went down to the minute. You know, it's just, you just never know. All right, so along with these tiers, folks, this thing, first and foremost, I got to say, it looks phenomenal. I love the colors on this Cat Slayer, the hue of blue that's utilized for this base operation is on point, folks. I just love the color palette overall for this cast lair. They did not disappoint at all, man. I liked the hues of that, kind of like that off gray white for the rest of the cast lair. Uh, I think they handled the scope, the detail of the cat lair's head, which is huge. You got to capture that first and foremost. I like the translucent eyes, folks. Notice the translucent eyes because these eyes do light up and I feel like the, the inside of the mouth may light up as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't see that in the description. So, But the eyes do light up, folks. And check out the emblem. The emblem looks incredible, folks. That red Thundercat emblem. You could just it, you could just hear it roaring, man. It just it looks so cool. But I just the, the scope, the detail of the Cat Slayer as a whole, it, it looks incredible, folks. It looks incredible. This thing is massive it's a massive folks you can see it you can see lionel out front and he looks like an ant folks he looks just right this is how he looks in the cartoon compared to cat slayer and so he captured the scale to the figure perfectly and i love it okay and one of the other things that really stand out to me with this cat slayer folks i mean there's so many other so many things to just dive into because there's a lot of pure thundercat magic that's going on with these images man but here, I'm just looking at the Cat Slayer's claws. They are massive as well, folks. And I just like how they handle the scope of detail of the claws. Now, they do articulate up. So you can pull each claw up and it will expose these two blaster turrets. And with that, you can place a Thundercat behind that those turrets to man those stations. So I like that. Now, you, you won't be able to place a Thunder Tank under the claw, but you can place an action figure there behind those blaster turrets. So I like that, man. And again, there's just, this you got so much flexibility with the base that's just this large, man. I mean, it just it just brings so much to the table, just aesthetically, you know, it's, it's just beautiful. Now, uh, yet another thing that stands out to me are the rock formations or the mountain formations that flank each side of Cat Slayer. Now, this, so this thing works twofold. The scope, the detail of these mountain formations look absolutely phenomenal. I mean, they really went all out with the detail. Just check that out, folks. It looks great. So again, this works twofold, folks. So you see how they pulled open, but you can also close these mountain formations and it kind of plays like the Castle Grayskull from the Origins line. So you can have it open or closed. With that, these rock formations play into your Cat Slayer setup when you turn it around. Because on each side of those rock formations, you have a setup from within Cat Slayer. On one side, you have an area where the Thundercats will meet, where the meeting table is located. And on the other, you have a section where, I guess, the Thundercats, they will house all their weapons and accessories and everything. And we'll go through all that right now. But it just I'm just really marveling at how they were to utilize those rock formations, those mountain formations for other uses. And I really like how they pulled that off. And let's look at all of the amenities and all the things that this thing has to it. We're going to look at, first and foremost, that command station that we were treated to early on in this uh, preview of Cat Slayer. So this is Command Center with a backlit interchangeable screen and control pods with interchangeable screens. So we have interchangeable screens 
with this command center and it is backlit. So this command center screen lights up, which is absolutely mind blowing. This is crazy, man. So, so we not only have this awesome command center where you can see three Thundercats, but you can also light up the screen and switch out the images on the screen, man, that, that plays all into what we saw in that 80s cartoon. This tugs at my heartstrings for real, folks. I mean, it's just, this is a dream come true for Thundercat fans. I mean, if you grew up in the 80s, this is what you wanted. This is what you want to see. And again, I didn't think that they would have the screen to light up. That's crazy. So we have the command center. Then we have a hidden rotating weapons room, sword and claw unlocked at tier one so the sword of omens and the claw shield that could be unlocked at tier one can be placed into this sword chamber which i love that that's that's my jam man the sword chamber i always thought that was like the baddest thing as a kid man to have lino had his sword his omens chamber he had his claw shield and everything just set up in his own little room Along with all the other Thundercats weapons, that was a really cool uh, setup that he had back in the day. So we have that here. And now, I mean, you, we don't need an extra claw shield. We, if you've got Lino, you have a claw, you have many claw shields and a sword of omen. So we don't need that tier one, but you know, hey, it comes with, also comes with that science table set. So that's pretty cool. All right. So up next, we have Panthro's workstation, which is the Thunder Tank maintenance hanger with workbench and tools so this is yet another awesome feature within cats there this is on the other side of that mountain formation that i talked about earlier so the scope the detail and the and the overall designs of this thing really harkens back to that animated series everything just looks so crisp and so vibrant and just streamlined much like the animated series they're able to capture the spirit and the essence of what we know and love from those beloved cartoons within this cast layer, folks. I just love the colors and just the simplicity of everything. It just, just really harkens back to what we know. So we have, I call this, I call this Panthro's workroom. So this is Panthro's workroom for the uh, Thunder Tank. And then up next, we have the council chamber with seating for seven Thundercats. So this is on the other side of that rock formation, or that mountain formation. So we have a the council table that will seat seven Thundercats. So folks, you can have some Thundercats sitting at the council table, and you can also have some Thundercats at the control room. And you can have Panthro in his uh, work room for the Thunder Tank. You can bring over Snowman or Hatchy Man or whoever else want to come over and chill out at Cat's Lair. You you can just do it all, man. It's just it's just it opens up so many possibilities and things that you can do with your characters in terms of setting them up and just you can just have so much fun with something like this because they give you so much. And again, I can't get over the fact that that control room screen lights up. That's that's pretty cool. So up next, we have various accessories that play into the control center's screens and setup here. So we have interchangeable screen and battery powered backlit light up feature removable control pods with interchangeable screens. And as you can see with these interchangeable screens, one has Lino utilizing the Sword of Omens to call the Thundercats like he always does. So everybody's like, everybody chilling that cast there and they just having fun and then Lino get in trouble and you see, oh, there go Lino again. So we have that screen. We also have Snowman's home, Hook Mountain. There's also some other areas around Third Earth and even out of space, it seems that you can switch out for those screens. We have the various control panels as well. And again, this is one of the most impressive features for Cats there, along with the light up eyes and emblem. And then up next, we have the various other components to Cats Lair. Two paw turrets that we talked about uh, previously when you pulled up the Thundercat claws. We have two control pods, three control pod screens, double-sided, five Thunder Tank maintenance tools, one council table, seven council chairs, one computer chair, and five computer screens. And up next, what I have is pretty much the icing on the cake, and that is the light-up features. And we have the glowing cat eyes, the glowing chest emblem, which looks phenomenal, man. It just looks phenomenal. And then, of course, we have the backlit interchangeable screens. 
and an opposing red glow. Now, my question is, and something that I'm just not really kind of sure on, are the eyes in the emblem, is this glow in the dark or is this more electronical to where you turn it on and off, much like the backlit screens in the control station? And last but not least, folks, we're going to go to the size of this cat's lair. And just, again, this thing is massive, folks. It's 36.7 inches in height and 29.3 inches in length. It's insane how large this thing scales, man. I like how you have the stairs entrance that lead in, up into the door area. That looks incredible as well. And again, the rock formations that flank the cast there are equally impressive. I, my eyes just completely shoot to that. Everything is just there for this cast there, folks. I mean, I cannot say enough about what this thing brings to the table. It gives you so much versatility for your complete setup. It seems so much fun. I, you know, I really want to go in on this thing, folks. You know, I'm hoping that I can. And if anybody that did already go in on this thing, congratulations, because you have honestly one of the greatest, you know, grill items ever. But everything that this thing brings to the table, folks, it is just incredible. I look forward to seeing videos and extra and images of this cat slayer via San Diego Comic Con. Folks, there is a lot already that's be, that's coming out that I've seen that's come out of Comic Con that I am just blown away by. Masterverse is already just knocking it yet again out of the park, you know, from Comic Con. I just got to throw them in, man, because I've seen some things already that it has me just. I mean, I can't believe it, folks. We're we're in for yet another year of or two of just some of the most incredible figures and play sets ever man i mean this is this is just the golden age of collecting but again folks this cast there is phenomenal it's the ultimate uh collector's item we'll we'll actually see how all this goes down folks we got to see if this will actually you know fund i mean we it needs three thousand backers you know we'll see if they'll get enough backers by that time i just personally think that this was way too soon i I was hoping that Brian Flynn and this crew would wait a little longer before they drop this pre-order, man. But, you know, you know, this is how they roll. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about this cast there overall? Um, and, folks, don't forget to ring that bell for all notifications so that you get each and every one of my content pieces as it drops. And, folks, don't forget, what? Yep, to like, share, and subscribe. That's right, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that like button, folks. If you've done that, I appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button. If you've done that as well, I truly appreciate you. And folks, don't forget, I am on social media with Instagram and Twitter. So if you have those outlets, be sure to give me a follow. And one more other thing, folks, be sure to check out my community. I'm always posting news and notes there. So make sure you check out my community. All right, folks, that's all I have for this episode for now because there's a lot that's going on. So uh, I just get ready for more videos, folks, because I got a lot of stuff coming out. Until next time, folks, be good to one another, be safe, stay tuned, and thunder, 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 thundercats, ho, oh, until next time, bye for now.